Last week we heard from Delavi Sciences co-founder Dr. Kyle Landry about a pioneering new skincare ingredient called Bacillus lysate. It's derived from an organism that was tested in space and is classed as an extremophile because of its ability to survive under extreme conditions. Its unique properties were picked up on by Dr. Landry and fellow Delavi Sciences founder, the longevity scientist, Dr. David Sinclair. And they've incorporated it into a skin serum called Aonia that they say can deliver age-defying results. I mentioned last week that I bought the serum, which I've been using for two months now, and today I'm gonna to share my thoughts around how it performed on my skin. I'm Claire Johnston, a journalist on a mission to learn how to age well, look and feel good for longer and share my learnings with you. So is this Aonia age-defying serum truly out of this world? Or will consumers who spend the $125 or just over hundred pounds per bottle be brought down to earth with a bump? So first of all, let's remind ourselves about the claims, because based on the studies by Delavi Sciences, using a variety of measurements and methods, which we'll come on to, they say their Aonia age defying serum has been proven to reduce hyperpigmentation in the skin, increase its firmness and elasticity, improve its smoothness and radiance, and boost the skin's moisture content by 39% after just one use. And they say this is achieved because the star ingredient Bacillus lysate is a kind of super antioxidant that can protect the skin against UV damage, although it's not classified as a sunscreen because it's not been put through the approval process by regulators. Instead, it's described as an SPF booster. And because of its unique strength as an antioxidant, Delavi sciences say that any free radicals generated as a result of UVA exposure, Bacillus lysate is able to quench. But according to their studies, it also does a few other things for our skin in that it improves hydration by supporting the skin's own production of hyaluronic acid. And they say it stimulates a signaling protein called CERT1, a key sirtuin for longevity. Now we hear about sirtuins a lot from scientists in this regard. So what are they? Sirtuins are proteins that play an important role in cell cycles and DNA repair, and they're thought to become less active as we age. So we wanna stimulate them to keep being productive, and that's what Delavi Sciences believe this serum does in our skin. It's derived from a natural bacteria, and the makers say it acts as a prebiotic, so it's a nutrient source for the microbes that live on our skin. As well as the star ingredient, Bacillus lysate, the original serum also contains moisturizing agent glycerin, wheat germ oil, hyaluronic acid, ferulic acid, niacin, or vitamin B3, which Dr. David Sinclair fans will know he takes a keen interest in, and resveratrol, another powerful antioxidant among the primary ingredients. So as Dr. Landry explained on the channel last week, the Ionia serum is designed to be an all-rounder, replacing your antioxidant and hyaluronic acid serums, and designed to be used after cleansing, and before moisturizing. It's recommended to be used both morning and night, and that's based on the frequency used in the studies that demonstrated the effectiveness of this product. But I'm gonna tell you now that I only use it in the mornings. Why? Because if you use it twice daily using the dispensing dropper, which very cleverly gives you an exact measure each time, and that's the dose used in their studies, you end up using a heck of a lot of serum with one bottle lasting approximately 30 days used twice a day. So right off the bat, I felt if I was gonna use this long-term, I would need to see benefits to my skin by using it just once daily to make it last longer and make more cost sense. And just because using it twice daily was the amount shown to be effective in the trials, it doesn't mean it's not effective used once a day. It's just that that particular frequency hasn't been as well studied. And I actually just purchased a replacement bottle and there was a 20% discount offer available on the site. That meant the cost of the serum was reduced to £81.60, which would be around $100. But I then had to pay £17 shipping on top and nearly £20 in taxes as well. So although there's going to be less shipping costs within the US, those further afield like me need to factor those extra costs in. Now, if we return briefly to some of the studies carried out by Delavi Sciences, and I'll link to both the serum and supporting information in the description, the most eye-catching study, to my mind, involved 
35 participants whose skin was scanned before and after use for a month. And there are actually some pretty impressive observable results, both in terms of the photographs shared and the supporting skin scan images showing visible improvements to the skin surface and a reduction of wrinkles. They use something called a Visio scan, which uses UV light to measure changes to the skin and to provide image analysis. And the wrinkles appear dark in the image. And this does provide a much more accurate way to assess changes in the skin other than the naked eye or just asking the volunteers themselves to assess the changes in their skin, which can be fraught with bias and inconsistencies. And Delavie scientists say the surface evaluation of the skin using the Visio scan found a maximum average reduction of just under 17% of wrinkling after 28 days of use. They also carried out something called a skin glossymeter analysis, which reads the reflected light from skin to test for natural brightness and radiance. And they say they observed maximum moisture increases of just under 16%, and that was 30 minutes after application. Skin hydration changes were measured by something called a Nova Dermal Phase Meter, which was what picked up the more significant moisture increase of 39% after the first 30 minutes of use. And that after 24 hours, and that was just with one application in the 24 hours, they didn't re reapply it in that particular test, the moisture increase was just under 12% by the end of the 24 hours. The skin was still retaining quite a lot of that added moisture. They also carried out tests on human skin tissue and saw that the serum reduced melanin content by inhibiting something called tyrosinase activity. Now tyrosinase being the enzyme that is responsible for the first step in melanin production. So as skincare studies go, Delavie scientists have gone further than most to prove the efficacy of their serum. And that makes me sit up and take notice. The skincare lines that I use in my own routine, which are linked in the description, have largely been because of the science behind them. And that's what I look for before I even start trying something out and introducing it on the channel. And of course, whether I decide to continue using it also comes down to performance. Coming on to my own experience with this serum, I wanna say now that with skincare, unless you have access to industry recognized facial scanning equipment or something similar, then whether something works for you or not is pretty subjective. For me, I'm looking at how compatible the serum is with my skin in the first place, and then whether I feel my skin looks visibly better hydrated and with the increased hydration, you're then looking for a visible reduction in lines because the skin is holding more water. Now, I had a rocky start with this serum. It has a lovely light floral rose-like scent, but that worried me because I usually prefer, and my skin definitely prefers, unscented products. And what happened was very shortly after I first applied the serum, my skin felt quite warm and became red and irritated looking. That settled after about an hour or so, but the next day I had little pimples around my mouth and on my upper cheeks, just tiny dots, but it wasn't ideal. And I would say that my skin carried on like that, being slightly irritated for about two weeks. And when I told Dr. Landry last week about this experience, he said a purge period of about a week or so is fairly typical with this serum. Delavie Sciences have introduced a gentler formula for sensitive skin, and it was sold out at the time of filming, but I'll be keeping checking on that uh, to see if it comes back into stock soon. I'd certainly be keen to try that. The irritation from the original serum was also part of the reason why I only used it once a day in the mornings. And I wanted to get the additional UV protection. So I used it under my Mesama fermented oil and before applying Blue Lean sunscreen every morning. And as the weeks progressed, certainly by around week five, I was admiring the condition of my skin. And I would say that for me, it's the added hydration that has been the standout result. I've been making good progress with my skin's natural hydration by using an oil-based balm cleanser rather than washing and just by cutting back on skincare actives. And so this serum felt like the right thing at the right time for me. And I wanna give it a good run and use it longer term because I am really motivated by the idea of enhanced UV protection for my skin that isn't from adding chemical sunscreens and that has anti-aging properties. So I've just started applying it to my chest area where I have a few sunspots to see if it makes a difference there too. And I'm using it in place of my vitamin C serum in the mornings. And while 
This isn't a facelift in a bottle. I haven't found anything that is. I think this is a product with a lot of promise and I'm very interested in the science behind it, which was a, a factor in my decision to order more. Now, needless to say, I'll do a skincare update later this year and let you know how it's going. I will, of course, link to last week's interview with Dr. Kyle Landry from Della Vie Sciences in the description, along with related information. And let me know what you think about this product and its key ingredient in the comments. Does the science impress you? Dr. Landry did say last week when I asked him about the high price that they were hoping to be able to do something there. So that would certainly be great to see. Next time on the channel, we're gonna have leading skin microbiome specialist, Dr. Thomas Hitchcock back on the channel to answer some of the questions you've been asking following our previous discussion. And I'll link to that below as well. And there's just so much more fascinating and enlightening information to come from him in that interview around how to best protect our skin health. If you enjoyed this video, then do consider subscribing if you haven't already so you can watch more from me, including next week's interview. And you'll find more advice and information around how to age well on my website, honest.scott. Scroll down to the bottom of any page and sign up to my monthly newsletter and you'll be in with a chance to win my monthly giveaway prize with each newsletter. For now, thank you for being here today.